making a custom uh, coal buffer for the it's going to be the double O pot so when the engage comes, engage HD comes around here it will disappear from amongst the view at that side and the double O one will come out from here and just engage will hide around the back here along this bit next to it and it will appear in double O of course then it will reappear yeah, at the end with any luck, which I'm hoping I can make it to I can make it around there. Huh. Should be also. Hmm. So it's quite a bit of a I'm hoping I'll give enough uh, space for the uh, raise of the curve to go around. Hmm. So from here, round, round this bit, and reconnect. I also want to make a little custom bit here. Custom siding bit. <laughs> so we'll have one train, obviously have one train parked here. Well, we have made two more on the um, main line bit. So we can change them around as we have another siding here. Yeah? You won't see, of course. None of this will see, even the controls as well. It will be partly covered. Of rubber, so I've cut out the little grooves for the uh, rails to uh, hopefully still be in the place. Yep, that work. Because you're not going to see this bit, so I'm just going to have, have two normal buffers at the end. Once you want to change that, so that's going to be the, the train running along the main train, H2. I mean, right on. But if you want to run more than loco, we'll change the value if you want to. That's what I'm going to add in this last spot here. Then another. Uh, has another siding here. Nothing from to have it. And have a look at the background here. So you want to, huh. so you want to see it. It's so background here. Background here, and um, probably have one here. I'll just carry this back here as well. And of course, you better see this from all your front part. You can see this as it's the gauge bit. That's where it is more. That's where it is now. Isn't it? It's going to be <laughs> my gauge display. Of course, obviously with that you could have any model of loco it is now <laughs> on there. You can have N, double O, O, and G. You got to go to one at the bottom, but it's on the track that's going to put a thing on that. <laughs> so you can't put anything on that or on that. It's just the updates. And, uh, so it's just like little changes here and there, really, more or less. As we do some on the track, so I start something out and uh, once we put it down, I've also got another idea for the uh, public pavement bit. I've got a really good idea I want to do with that. Look like this, that's, uh, that's another little feature I want to do with that. I mean, multiple, multiple features on here. That's complete.
If you don't have uh, any more double double long track, was it a very clever way to make curve the straight? Save money. So it's wasting track. Hmm. It's still been in good condition track. I mean, it's just so I change it a little bit. It's just uh, there you go, making straight. It's uh, not really difficult. You get used to it. Just cut the sleepers a little bit. So made a little groove for it to uh, feel on the rails. Let's do something on the other side. And yeah, film will go. Hmm. You can't, can you? I mean, you get actual coal, pushing buffers like that, feel coal, so. Hmm. Can't know how coal in that. Um, if you recognise this writing underneath, let me know in the comments. So I found it some time ago, and uh, they went from table leg or something like that. But I mean, this can make it. This make a really good uh, coal storage buffer. <laughs> Custom. A bit putting it at this end, obviously we can see it. <laughs> So it's just, it's just, it's easy to take off, just have to... Look at that. <laughs> and feel cold. Mm -hmm. I mean, another thing about this is you can run double O on here and then so you can run two different, two different scale uh, drains as well. <laughs>
There you go. All's in place. Oh, that's nice though. Hmm. That was really cool though, look at that. <laughs> really cool. So we had an NLC call, see if you wanna... Let's give you an example. These are double gauge HC custom coaches. This one's advertising one. <laughs> of course, you'll be seeing it from this side because there's the English one. One of the English ones. More than exactly the same. <laughs> Just bigger and they're smaller. I've got two of those as well, by the way. <laughs> this HC is always pulled to coaches at Brockwell, so I'll put the link in the description for Brockwell Partners Railway. You want to check it out yourself. And uh, yeah. go this far then so he's under the moment until I get to <laughs> take some more fish plates I'm just doing the track at the moment these are what I'm gonna do so he comes again like that so be like that So I mean, it's just about fit. So as you can change from Aussie from this, and you can change the logo. So say like one's parked in the other, in one siding, change it around, put this one that siding. And then obviously you can obviously bring the other one out when that one's parked there. So you can like change them around and obviously you want to go back and forth. So you can change the logo around to set from this end. And the coach just over there. Or oh, then I think I'll just change it, put the logo at the other end, doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, this is actually a spare. <laughs> this is another one of those. Uh, this point uh, is uh, an actual piece from, uh, from my club. Wasn't want anymore because of the condition of it. It's weathered a little bit, which is quite nice to come from an uh, old pearly layout, which no longer exists, unfortunately. <laughs> you take a coin more of on my link below as well. And there's a horn, normal horn we both have got so one or more in there, and a custom flat one. Whatever. Yeah, nice common there. I mean, yeah, you can't get any cooler than that. To me, that's freaking awesome. And uh, I'll see you in the next update.